Hello, hello, people. We're trying something different this time. I was watching the video, and I was sitting behind a clown, and I was thinking, Wow, they can't see me. And the other thing I was thinking was, it's kind of boring just staring at the players' names. So, when I was sitting behind my clown, I actually thought to change something, unlike Robert Bowling, who just let Modern Warfare 2 suffer, you know? So, I'm going to set the This Week in Fantasy to get some of my gameplay, and maybe that way you can see and be entertained, and still keep an ear out and understand the whole This Week in Fantasy aspect, and I'll t I'm just trying to make it a more entertaining experience overall. Okay, so last week, I... The games I picked, I went 5 for 6. I only missed 1. I won 128 to 128 to 112. I beat Metal Spawn. Uh, Seagouch lost to TX Nurse, 90 to 56. You at the USC Athlete Compensation Fund got stuck with another really tough game. Once again, playing the guy with the highest uh, points that week. He lost 123 to 116. Disco Hobbits beat The Cure Sucks 107 to 95. Bing Bong beat Pink Floyd Panthers by 10 points in the rivalry game, and Rampy beat the Eagles fanboy this week. A couple things I want to take out of week two is that I almost lost to Metal Spine because his All Steeler team played the punching bag of the NFC, the Seahawks. Another thing I want to take out of this week is that. USC Athlete Compensation Fund is a lot better than he looks. His 0-2 record is just it just doesn't show. I think you might if you just look at the records, you might think, wow, you'll get the wrong impression because teams will have teams that have 0-2 records like Ben and USC Athlete Compensation Fund, Spencer, they're a lot better than they really are. Ben's been plagued by the injury bug, and Spencer's just gotten unlucky with the people he's played. All right. Oh, I'd also like to point out that I claim that Miles Austin, when I was doing my comparisons, Miles Austin, I said he was going to do worse than the other guy. Not true. He got three touchdowns. I also said uh, the one game that I missed, I predict, I projected uh, Clap for Bacon to lose because I didn't think Fred Jackson would do anything. I was also wrong in that aspect. I did, however, correctly predict that LaShawn McCoy would outscore Frank Gore and that Matthew Stafford would indeed outscore Aaron Rodgers. Or no, not Aaron Rodgers, sorry. Ben Roethlisberger. Alright, now we are on to the week three preview. See Gouch and me. See Gouch is quickly proving to be the worst team in the league, and if he wants to if he do, if he wants to get out of the cellar, he needs to start shopping his great quarterback staff and try to help out his running backs or something because he has Aaron Rodgers and Cam Newton he needs to trade uh, I'm gonna try to do this for pedo fire because I was watching my commentaries while I was clipping over my stealth clown and I was getting bored and I don't want to provide boring content so Aaron Rodgers will outperform Matthew no Matthew Stafford will outperform Aaron Rodgers because Aaron Rodgers is playing the Bears with Erlacher coming back Michael Turner will outperform LT, obviously. MJD will outperform Pierre Thomas, obviously. Reggie Wynn will outperform Mike Williams. Vincent Jackson will outperform Lance Moore. Jamichael Finley will outperform Chris Cooley. Peyton Hillis will outperform Des Bryant, because Des Bryant might be injured. Josh Brown will outperform Steven Janikowski. And the Eagles defense will do better than the Packers defense. I predict myself to that beat out Seagouch in that game to start out with to start out 3 and 0. Metal Spine and TX Nurse. Metal Spine's 0 and 2, TX Nurse is 1 and 1. <coughs> Excuse me. I'm going to predict uh, Matt Schaub to out outperform Ben Roethlisberger. Arian Foster will outperform No Show Marino. Javad Best will outperform Joseph Adai, which I said that Javad Best would. Not, I said Javad Best would do worse than my guy last week. I was wrong. Deshaun Jackson will outperform uh, Kenny Britt. And uh, TX Nurse has a couple of empty spots. So I'm just I'm going to have to guess at who she's going to start. I'm going to guess uh, she'll start Robert Meacham and Danny Amendola. Would be my best guess. 
uh, Heinz Ward will help perform Amendola and uh, make or uh, sorry, Meach will help perform some guy named Sanders for Pittsburgh. So it happens when you draft the all Pittsburgh team, you guys people have never heard of. Winslow or hmm, Gre uh, Gronkowski will outperform Kevin Winslow, and the Jets defense will. Oh no, the Steelers defense will do better than the Jets defense because they're playing Indianapolis. Shut up, phone. Okay, just go hobbits and clap for bacon. This is a tough one to pick. I'm gonna predict uh, that Disco Hobbits wins though, because his team hasn't been hit by the injury bug yet. <coughs> Drew Brees will outperform Kevin Cobb. Ray Rice will do better than Fred Jackson, because Fred Jackson's a bill. LaShawn McCoy will do better than James Starks. Calvin Johnson. I, I mean, whenever I go, whenever I go over a clap for bacon game, I don't even need to mention the receivers. He's gonna, he has Andre Johnson and Calvin Johnson. He's gonna win both. He's gonna win his receivers battles. Uh, so Calvin and Andre will beat out Hakeem Nix and um, uh, Green for the Bengals. Sorry. Uh, Dustin Keller will beat out Jimmy Graham. Johnny Knox will beat out. Matthews for the Chargers. Neil Rackers will beat out Dan Carpenter, and the Cowboys defense will outperform the Ravens defense. I I do I don't I don't think Washington's that good. I think they just beat up on some bad teams. Okay, this is the week the USC athlete compensation fund breaks out. He's playing the worst team in his league, and. His, his team is just too good to start out 0-3. Rivers is going to beat Freeman. He's going to... He's not going to beat Adrian Peterson, though. Beanie Wells is going to outperform Frank Gore. Brandon Lloyd is out gonna, is going to outperform Roddy White. Fitzgerald is going to outperform Marshall. Antonio Gates is going to outperform Kendricks. Although, he's not going to get 22 points in NFL.com. Just like I was supposed to start Jay Cutler, and he fumbled it once and threw a touchdown. That's why you watch these videos, so you don't have to listen to freaking Michael Fabiano act like an idiot. So, if you followed Michael Fabiano's advice like I did the first year I played fantasy football many years ago, drafting Rudy Johnson in the first round, your team will become destroyed. Never listen to eight. Even if you know nothing about football, don't listen to the analysts. They're jackasses. Okay, that was my rant. The cure sucks. I don't think he's checked his team since the get, since the uh, beginning of fantasy football because he still has Nate Kading starting. He's on injured reserve, so obviously even the Buffalo kicker can beat him out. And the Lions kicker is going to get more than the Patriots. Or the Lions defense is going to get more than the Patriots defense. Watch watch out for the USC athlete compensation fund to win big. Record breaking suck in Bing Bong. I like this game. Because uh, it's two unproven owners with good teams. I think Brady will outperform Tony Romo because Tony Romo has a questionable injury status. I think Matt Forte will outperform Felix Jones because Felix Jones just is sharing time and hasn't been doing anything. Uh, Chris Johnson will lose out to Tim Hightower. As crazy as it sounds, but uh, Johnson splits time. Anquan Bolden will lose out to Wes Welker. Miles Austin, I'm not going to pick against him again. He'll beat out San Antonio Holmes. Jason Winton will beat out Tony Gonzalez because I think Gonzalez had one good week and I think Winton's more consistent. Dion Branch is going to outperform Mike Thomas just because if you saw the Jaguar game, the quarterback looked completely lost and every time I looked up at my TV, he was short-arming balls into the ground. Completely horrendous. If you have any Jag receivers, dump them. Uh, Matt, Matt, Matt Crosby, whatever his name is. Green Bay's kicker will outperform my Rod Baronis. And uh, the Chargers, this is a funny one because the Chargers versus the Redskins defense, initially you think uh, Chargers because they're playing the Chiefs, 
But if Romo doesn't play, the Redskins defense could have a big day. Pink Floyd Panthers and no fried rice for you. Ben's been hit with the injury bug hard. Uh, he drafted Jamal Charles, whom I hate. I think he's overrated. But this is the week where the fantasy genius is back. That's right. Michael Vick is looking uh God. Michael Vick is looking not that great with his injury, so you're gonna have to watch out for that. Ben Jarvis Green Ellis is uh, splitting time with Danny, my boy Woodhead. So Ben's gonna win out with Eli Manning and Brandon Tate. Yes, Brandon Tate. Richard Mendenhall will beat uh, the Miami running back, Thomas. Stevie Johnson, one of Ben's fantasy genius dark horses, will beat out Devery Henderson for the Saints. Isaac's boy, Greg Jennings, will beat out uh, Mike Wallace, even though Mike Wallace has big playability. Owen Daniels will... Oh, no. Vernon Davis will beat out Owen Daniels. Nate Burleson will beat out Dwayne Bowe just because I think the Chiefs will be lucky to score 14 points in a game this year. Janikowski will beat out uh, Hanson, but it'll be close. I think Janikowski is going to be kicking a lot of field goals against the Jets, but that's the only reason he's going to beat out the uh, Lions kicker. And the Bears... Oh, yeah, the Bears defense is better than the Giants defense because of injuries. Uh, that was my pick for the week. I hope you enjoyed this, and I hope you're. I hope you'll enjoy the gameplay. Um, we're, I'm just gonna do a quick overview. Christian needs to shop his quarterbacks and look for both 0 and 2 teams. USC Athletic Comp Fund and uh, Ben to break out big this week. I was five out of six in picks last week, and uh, please remember to rate, rate and comment the video. Because I put a lot of work into these, buying the equipment and coming home and doing these when I don't have work. And it makes my day when you rate and leave a comment. Whether you're disagreeing with me or agreeing with me or telling me a good job, it makes my day. So, I'm out guys. See you later.